Let's assume that cos inverse of 1 upon 5 root 2 is equal to alpha and sine inverse 4 upon root 17 is equal to beta. Now consider a right angle triangle where the angle between the base and the hypotenuse is alpha. Since cos alpha is equal to 1 upon 5 root 2, therefore in this triangle, the base is equal to 1 and the hypotenuse is equal to 5 root 2. Therefore, using Pythagoras' theorem, the perpendicular is equal to square root of 5 root 2 square minus 1 square, which simplifies to square root of 50 minus 1, which is equal to 7. Therefore, in this triangle, tan of alpha, which is equal to the perpendicular upon the base, is equal to 7. Or, alpha is equal to tan inverse 7. Similarly, consider a right angle triangle where the angle between the base and the hypotenuse is beta. Since sine beta is equal to 4 upon root 17, therefore in this triangle, the perpendicular is 4 and the hypotenuse is root of 17. Therefore, using Pythagoras theorem, the base is equal to square root of root 17 square minus 4 square, which is equal to 1. Therefore, in this triangle, tan beta, which is the perpendicular upon the base, is equal to 4. And so beta is equal to tan inverse 4. Now the given expression is tan of cos inverse 1 upon 5 root 2 minus sine inverse 4 upon root 17. This is equal to tan of alpha minus beta per the assumptions made earlier. Tan of alpha minus beta is equal to tan alpha minus tan beta upon 1 plus tan alpha tan beta. Substituting the values of tan alpha and tan beta obtained above, this expression is equal to 7 minus 4 divided by 1 plus 7 times 4. This simplifies to 3 upon 29, which is the required answer.